I'm Elizabeth Price, and this is my home studio. I teach piano and guitar, voice, life lessons. The studio is named World Changers Music School because that is my vision and hope for all the children or adults that come through across that threshold. I started taking music when I was very young because I was playing around with the piano when I was really, really very young. And through the years, studied and studied in college, and became involved with the guitar, not just piano, about the seventh grade. Guitar actually is my heart instrument. I love to sit cross-legged on the bed and just play, make up music, worship. Honestly, I never intended to teach. I didn't want to be a teacher, didn't think I was a teacher. I had a stereotype version in my head that I didn't think I was. And teachers in my family like crazy. My mother was a teacher, my dad was a teacher, my dad's sister taught first grade 53 years, my first cousin taught first, second grade 43 years, and I'm going, nope, I'm not one of them. And so what I learned is that I'm not really a classroom teacher, but individual. And music is not the highest passion of my heart. It's people. And I, that's what I say. I teach people. I use music to do it. Elizabeth is not just a teacher. Um, she is a life trainer and uh, she knows our family, she knows how to love on us, she knows how to be firm with us, she knows what's going on and uh, she's very quick to sense what's going on in the kids' lives and very quick to speak truth into their lives. And, uh, and we love having her not just training them musically but hopefully also training them in worship which uh, one of the biggest compliments I ever get from folks is that our kids are worshipers. And that's a big, big part because of Elizabeth's training in their lives. When I think about the rewards of what I do, <laughs> they are many. I love these children. I love these families. And I'm blessed to be a part of so many families. Just so blessed. In leading worship, I think my strength really has been through the years to facilitate a worship team and to facilitate raising up worshipers. Several times I've done seminars in churches around here, denominational churches, non-denominational churches, and have been at uh, one church for a year and a half raising up a worship team and raising up worship leaders there. Um, now I'm currently involved in another church and several people have stepped up to lead worship. And facilitating, I guess, is really kind of what a teacher does. Having not been in church for a few years, found New Covenant, the most amazing way and started coming when it was back in the cleaners building. Through the years, I've had developed friends, fellowship. I've been able to lead groups on many different levels, especially I love the creativity in worship group. I've been through the healing ministry, been through the healing ministry, continued to go through the healing ministry and, and work in the healing ministry, bringing people in from, um, we've had several children come in at four years old into the healing room and who I'm in touch with now, both two of them are in their 20s and just full out for God. We saw God do miracles. We've had programs come and go. We've had ministries come and go. It's, it's sort of like we, we progress with the Holy Spirit and what is being led there. One of the things that I really appreciate about New Covenant is being multi-ethnic and multi-generational. I know we use the term generation to mean like 15 years of a family and then the next 15 years of a family. So if you look at that perspective and you get older, you feel like you're kind of getting out-generationed and getting in the older generation. But the way I like to see it is, the way I feel at New Covenant, is that whoever is living on the earth at this point is in this generation of time. So if you're living now, then you're in the generation now and you have a work to do to influence the world for God. I've been blessed and privileged to be a part of almost 400 families in this county over the last maybe 20 years. And many types of families, different types of family parenting styles, 
um, religious styles, non-religious styles, heathen styles, and to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit has just been a lesson for me, a continual every day. Listen to the Holy Spirit, to what to say, to plant a life lesson here, to say Christian principles and what I call talking Babylonian. And the scripture that Jesus used, he said that he prayed for us that that we all may be one, like like He and the Father are one. So I pray for all those that come through this door that they all may be one with the Father. And so what I do is all for one.